So once we've built our model in Fusion 360, it will create for us some technical orthographic projections of each component. So if we go to our drawing window from this design, we don't want to do the full assembly, we just want to select a single component for now. So we're going to select our lever. I'm happy with all the settings, A3 paper, ISO, millimeters, all good. So we're going to click OK. Once our drawing pops up, we can select our main view, which we want from our right hand side. And then I can change the scale to one to one. So real size. That fits nicely on our paper. And we can then position that on our page. Then click OK once we're happy. Next I'm going to rotate this so the lever is laying horizontal across my page. So select the item and then select the point at which we're going to rotate it. I'm going to rotate it up to 25 degrees. So I've got my horizontal depiction of my lever. Leave it to where we want it, and then I can start creating some orthographic projections. So just by following the cursor and placing them where we want. And if you come up at the angle, it will create an isometric projection as well. Press enter to finish that off. And we've got our views of our product. If we double click on our title block, we can change the text in there also if we wish. Then just click on finish properties to leave that editing view. Next, I'm going to start adding in the center points of my holes. Just select the holes and click the center points, and then the center lines so I can show the angle of that kink in my product later. So I've got my two center lines there. Then we can start adding dimensions. So the first one is just a three dimension tool, so we can select the two center points of our circles and it'll automatically dimension that. If we click on linear dimension, it'll only create dimensions in the horizontal or vertical plane. You have to zoom in to click on the parts that you want to. This one's a bit fiddly. There we have it. And I only want my dimensions to be to the nearest millimeter, so we're going to double click on our number there and then we can change it to zero decimal places. We can label the radiuses of our arcs or dimensions for our um, diameters of our holes here. Next I'm going to dimension the angle of my dog leg that I have on this lever. I use the center lines that I created earlier to highlight that. You can also create text labels with a leader. So I can label the materials for example. When we create our text labels, there's a nice handy shortcut for commonly used symbols, such as um, the symbol for a diameter. So what we can do here is we can just add the symbol. So we can just include that in our text, and we can say 10 millimeter diameter. Um, I'll still buy.
Then once we're happy with all the details, we can simply download that drawing as a PDF so we can include it in our portfolio. So if we click on Output, PDF, I want to draw this straight away just so I can show you it. We can give it a name. And then what you'll see, actually, when you look at the PDF, if we go back to the PDF, actually you've got all your line thicknesses and it's a much nicer quality drawing than the one you see in your screen in Fusion 360. So it's definitely worth downloading as a PDF rather than just including a screenshot in your design portfolio.